Seeing our thinking about what does it mean for all of us as a community. Uh, I feel like it's going to be really hard for WoW to top it off though, because there's so many new games that are very fun in boss fights or better PvP, right? I think even if WoW makes a lot of good changes, people are still going to shit on them, right? Because the sta the everyone's standards like so much higher than before. Up until maybe Kata, I, I don't think there was any super super hype game maybe like solo player games but not a lot of online games right but there's a lot of good online games now so i think it's hard for them man around world of warcraft so we're thinking really big you know mm. and then also you know what's gonna bring players along you know week to week month to month um and make sure that you know we're serving our community who want to live there this is why this trip is so important sitting down with these guys finding out how classic came about and how it's going to influence dragonflight so amazing but one of the things i'm worried about with coming here is i actually don't know how everybody plays world of warcraft i think back to my day to say from vanilla all the way up until the end and the sheer amount of mandatory content that has been added to the game over what the years are the good just games well if you just go to twitch and see what the popular side is that is what most people are enjoying right i too low um, obviously it doesn't represent everything, but it just shows like what people are into. Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, League of Legends, Pokemon, Valorant. Like some of these games come and go, but it just shows what people are more into nowadays. Like WoW's right there, right? To which you could probably a good game. No, like I said, it doesn't represent the whole thing, but it gives you a summary of what games are enjoyed being watched on Twitch. Or if you go to YouTube analytics like we did, it just shows what other games people have interest in, right? I don't think that WoW can ever come back since Kata. It only declines in player unless it's a new expansion release and they have some people come back and maybe... Yeah, I think a lot of people come back thinking, oh, maybe this is the one. And I don't think people should have that expectation for Dragonflight. I don't think this is the one, but I think they are definitely on the correct movement where they're listening to players feedback a lot better than before even better i know people were coping in shadowland but they're definitely listening better than shadowland like even i could see it right um so maybe the next expansion after dragonflight might be progress in the chat or well, we will see man i never been less high for an x uh same man i'm not Super high for Dragonflight, but it's new content. I want to give it a fair shot. I'm going to play with open mind. I'm not going to be like super harsh and critique anymore. I think casual approach is the best. When you're too passionate about the game, uh, you'll get upset. You'll get upset. It's like when you're doing arenas and you're pushing really high and you get upset at each other at the teammates, right? You don't want to go to that level. Uh, just one more feel like tech, guys. This is the last one. Uh, most of the new MMOs are action combat. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's watch the video, man. Financially, 